Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Plague Inc. Evolved Custom Scenarios. We're looking for a scenario called the Grim Reaper. I can find it. That looks like it right there by Thyron Dexter. Hey, you got four stars. Well done. Constant advancement of humanities, medical technologies, and easy availability of reliable medicine throughout the world have rid death of good, fresh victims to take away. Freaking humans and their medicine. The thing is, yeah, we live longer. But, we all still die, so I don't think the numbers are really against you there, Mr. Grimm, but we'll see. Uh, the Grim Reaper is very unsatisfied with it, so he slash she slash it slash your lord and darkness of no particular gender, I don't know, has created a dangerous plague to collect his harvest. A virus that spreads rapidly and can kill humans inconceivably fast, like a biological weapon. Ironically, it's probably going to be the biological weapon type, isn't it? The virus is ready to be unleashed. With humanity withstand, sorry, will humanity withstand this final challenge and prevail against death itself, or will Earth be sterilized as a harsh punishment for disobedience? It is a bioweapon. What do you know? Let's go for it. We this pretty hard overall. Only tested on Bruno and Brutal, beating on Mega Brutal's special challenge. Uh, I'm not. I'm. I just only recently woke up, hence why my voice sounds a little bit off. So I'm probably not in the mental state where I can handle that on Mega Brutal right now. So we'll just enjoy we'll just enjoy the content you've created and not try to kill ourselves, all right? Bioweapon, metabolic jump, genetic mimic, aquasite extreme file, and symptostasis. Normal difficulty is fine. Death for all. It's funny because I only just recently made like a Medicare for all into Seppuku for all thing joke in my EU4 recording, and now it's death for all. So I need to make this into a meme of some sort. Help me out, guys. How do I do this? I'm not very good at it. The beginning of the end. Or is it just the end of the beginning? I mean, really, when you think about it. The deadly disease created by the Grim Reaper has begun forming its grasp. Once unleashed, humanity will fall. However, it must spread fast enough in order to not kill too many of its hosts. Can you fulfill the prophecy and wreak vengeance on the clever apes? Probably, and I'm going to start in Saudi Arabia, as we often do, because we are trying to go for a fast... Uh, spread. So, transmission types, we have Zoonotic Shift, Mutagenic Surge, to stabilize the genetic structure of the pathogen, subjecting it to the nature's randomness. A Reckless Move, increases random mutation rates. Okay. Necrotic Transmission, victims killed by the disease emit a stinky gas that contains dissolved particles of the pathogen, spilling it into the surroundings. Corpse Transmission Plus, well, I do love the Corpse Transmission, especially if we're going to have this much lethality. And yes, you know, like shift is exactly what you think it's going to be. For our symptoms, we start off with random kill. Death is absolutely free to kill patients whenever it wants. Devolve this to get rid of the starting lethality. I mean, yeah. I mean, oh my god, 666 DNA. Well, I wish I had known it was that expensive. Right. Maybe I should have left that on to get the extra DNA at the beginning of the game. I'm, I'm not sure. That might be a restart moment right there. Coughing. Lung inflammation causes coughing and bursts of pathogen in the surroundings. Dark pustules. Cysts develop and fill with dark pus. When they burst, they spread the plague. Vertigo. Deformation of the vestibular apparatus leads to the feeling of instability and loss of coordination slightly harder to cure. Finally, we go to the abilities, and there are a few new ones, actually. So we have our standard cold heat and drug resistance. We have Transcendent Awakening. Descend to the Earth in your true form, sowing chaos and disorder among the human population. Unlocks new abilities and collects additional DNA. You'd think that that would be phenomenally severe, but okay. Death Holder 1. Rethink the plan more carefully to reduce initial casualties, reduces the likelihood of lethality growth over time. Sleeping mode and disintegration, which I assume this is the standard um, bioweapon abilities. This looks interesting, though. So yeah, I do actually kind of regret getting rid of the random kill this early. A little bit of extra DNA is certainly not going to run a miss from me. So we'll keep that for the moment. I'm a little concerned that um, we are going to have some serious issues with transmission because Zoonotic Shift is very mutation-focused, and I'm not going to be eager to pick up too much of that if mutation is going to lead to a lot of lethality. Actually, now that I think about it, mutation might have gotten me random kill for free anyway later, so maybe we're not worried about it. Let's uh, reduce the likelihood of the lethality growth over time a little bit. Let's see, can I... This is just going to reduce the uh, ramp up of lethality, but it doesn't actually stop anything. So we're going to keep, we're going to keep random kill for now. Get a little bit of extra lethality coming from the symptoms, and then we're going to see what happens. 
Uh, of course, being a, uh, a bioweapon, we always have to be worried that the lethality is going to ramp up out of control. And they're just going to shut down everything immediately. So, we can rethink the plan once again and rearrange the pathogen to give it more time for infection. We may have to do this all the way. I tend to focus on getting that ASAP. Religious groups propagandize the apocalypse. I mean, I, I'm sure that they're supposed to be the butt of the joke, but if they're right... Then can you really criticize them? Prominent confessions as well as small religious sects all around the world are switching to believe that the end of humanity is coming soon in the form of a new plague much deadlier than ever before in history. Who told them? Which angel in heaven blabbed? That's what I want to know. Unless, unless God's giving them revelations of some sort. Oh, thank you, Inyali. I do need coffee. I'm not kidding when I say I literally just got up, like, less than five minutes ago. And instead of getting ready for my day, I'm like, let's just get started with Plague Inc. And now I'm realizing that my throat and mouth are somewhat dry, and my brain not, may not be fully awake yet. Lethality does not grow over time. No, I do want lethality to grow over time. I just want it to be slow in the beginning. I'll refund this stuff later. Uh, let's go for Transcendent Awakening. So that's going to get a lot of people aware of my presence. So I guess now we have justification in believing that the apocalypse is nigh. I'm mostly interested in this whole additional DNA thing. Purge undesirables. Cataclysmic explosions will cause additional deaths as well as destroy science labs and valuable cure progress. Cure takes longer to develop. Awesome. We start selectively killing the smart people. People see a terrifying ghost figure. Nice silhouette. I might be mad, but I've seen something. A dark, cold man with a scythe. He attempted to kill me. Those are reports of thousands of people from all around the globe. In the past few weeks, they have grown very common, and it's getting serious. Oh, bah humbug. At some point, you know that people are going to be like, It's just a copycat, creepy person. Like, like all those clowns. You guys remember that? There was a time when there were all these, like, clowns dressed up and going in parks and freaking people out. It's probably, people will just assume it's that. In real life. Necrotic transmission 2. The dead bodies of the victims do not decompose quickly in the decay process emits countless particles of the pathogen that infect other people. We also could go for blood. Uh, or I could go for the zoonotic shift and try to unlock different transmission types. I think I'll go for the necrotic, uh, necrotic transmission. We can go for sweating, which is pretty good. Pallor. Suppressed blood flow gives victims a deathly white appearance, increasing infectivity, also severity. Um, a little bit of sweating would be good. We can also get the skin cracks, random bruises, cracks, and other skin deformations start to appear rapidly, causes discomfort, increasing infectivity, and muscular dystrophy. Nutrient absorption and exhaustion makes the patient lose muscle mass, causing weakness and inability to do daily tasks. Lethal in extreme cases, and finally we have sneezing. Uh, I don't want to pick up more lethality at this stage. That kind of reduces the points of reducing the lethality growth over time, but a little bit of severity and a lot more infectivity does sound like a pretty good trade for me. We also can get Necrosis, which seems somewhat redundant having such strong necrotic transmission at the beginning of the game, but I'm not complaining because it does sort of completely make sense for the theme, so we'll go with it nonetheless. Um, I think at this stage we can focus on... I don't need to worry about the cure at the moment. I don't want that much extra severity. I don't want to go for pulmonary breakdown. Pharyngitis? Very infectious? Tempting, but instead, let's go for a bit of blood. Very good in the poor countries, of which we are adjacent to many of them. And then we'll go for the zoonotic shift. So that leaves us with dogs. A human's best friend is a dog, but not anymore, as many of them are going to become infected with a death's plague and transfer it. Good in the urban regions. Birds, corrupted with death. I've always thought that birds are strangely creepy and likely to be the death of me someday. Fish, schools of fish become messengers of death in the oceans. Vengeance for the plastic that's been polluting their atmosphere for a long time. Livestock. Humanity's trustiest animals in the countryside become corrupted by death. I have no quip for that. And bats. I'm Batman. I bring death. I am a shadow in the night. Probably? Oh. Alright, do we have enough severity at this stage that as I start getting red bubbles, I am content with this? No, not really. I'm going to go for the pharyngitis. That leads to arrhythmia. Breakdown in the circulatory system causes an irregular heartbeat, increasing or decreasing by a few tens per second. That, a few tens per second? Like, tens of extra heartbeats per second? That's not inconsequential at all. Alright, do we want to go for bats, livestock, fish, ship transmission? 
I think we'll go for the air transmission and efficiency, not land transmission, it says. Air transmission. The new disease is unlike anything we've ever seen. Dr. Martin D. of a local medical research facility in Australia has captured a few isolated samples of death for all's pathogen. Very peculiar. Astonishing spread rate. Potential for 100% lethality. We have to investigate further. I believe time is running out. Yeah, I've heard scientists say things like that before, but no one cares. The prophecy unfolds. We said that, but you didn't believe. Death is coming in a literal sense. This disease will not be cured. Purge your sins now. Those are the words of someone who broke into the interview room. Where's the security? Triple question mark. Saudi Arabia starts working on a cure. Uh, we need some cold resistance now. Rethality has not been ramping up much at all thanks to Death Holder, so that is not exactly a problem at this point. My primary concern is not even the cure, it's getting into every country when the time comes. We will go for some level of drug resistance. I probably need to go for another level of cold resistance now that we are getting into places like Russia. So we'll focus on things like that. Um, and then, yeah, I, I, at this point I do have to question whether or not we want to stop with the random killing so that I can enjoy uh, a better chance of getting into every other country. And I think that now might be the time. I'm just, I don't know. I'm not seeing other places shut down their borders yet, but we're getting all this extra DNA from lethality. Eh, still, I think it's time to get rid of it. All right, we're going to go for that. Death is going to become more targeted from here on out. So, what do we want to get that will get me more infectivity? I think we'll stick with some transmissions. Could go for more air. I think I'm going to go for the fish, though. I would like to have a little bit of extra water transmission. You never know when that's going to be helpful, especially in the humid countries. Uh, we'll go for dogs for better urban development, since we are in Europe. Uh, and that is, of course, very urban. It counter, kind of functions almost like a drug resistance. Pulmonary breakdown is probably not what I want at this stage. We'll just refund for a couple of extra DNA points. Uh, arrhythmia for the extra severity. I don't know what this is going to lead to. I'll pick it up, but hopefully it's not going to betray me. Heart failure, severe and lethal. No, hemorrhagic shock, lethal. Okay, so it only leads to lethality options, which I do not want at this stage anyway. We're going to go for some more fish. That leads to actual water transmission for ship transmission. What's this, by the way? Spore burst. Two countries at random. Oh, and now I regret the revo revocation of random kills. Spore burst will get me anywhere I want to go. All right, we're going to go for some more bird transmission for the arid efficiency. And I don't think that we need to worry about getting airplane transmission. We've kind of hit every airport in the game. With the exception, it looks like, of Mexico. But outside of that, not especially worried. So, um, I guess we can start ramping up something. Let's go for the vertigo to slow down the cure since I heard that they just started that. Headache, sure, we'll go for that. Vomiting, a little bit of infectivity, sounds good. Makes sense, of course, by the way. That vertigo leads to vomiting. I like that. Sometimes people tend to focus on, this is the branch that just slows down the cure. This is the branch that starts up the lethality. And that can be appropriate, depending a lot on the theme and how you lay things out. In this case, the author went for vertigo, and then it's like, okay, so I do want to continue with things that like reduce the cure progress, but at the same time, vertigo tends to make you nauseous. So here's some infectivity paths. Metabolic changes. The full coordination of cells metabolism is interrupted by the pathogen. Mm, not sure what that's going to lead to. Probably some extremely lethal options later. Uh, confusion, not sure that I want that at the moment either. Let's go for... I don't know if I need more drug resistance. That's the thing. So I think we want to focus more on infectivity. Blood? No. Livestock. We've already gotten some urban transmission. Let's just increase the speed of things in the, uh, in the uh, rural regions. A new habit of vomiting right on the spot is involuntarily spreading among the population of China infected with a new disease. Death for all. Janitors cannot cope with the disgusting amount of work. I don't know if that's a custom pop-up or what. Uh, how many countries do we have left? Four. So if I pop the spore burst right now, there's like a 50% chance that I would get in there, right? I don't remember how statistics work. We're not going to worry about that at the moment. I think we actually can start ramping up a certain amount of lethality, and for that I will go for the Necrosis because it's also exceptionally infective. That leads to Reaper's Scythe 1. Converts people to worship you. Activating all three Reaper's Scythe symptoms will inf uh, invert cure progress and kill everyone. Well, that sounds lovely. All right, so we may not need the Spore Burst. Let's see if uh, Greenland shuts down their borders. In the meantime, let's go for things like uh, Neural Disruption. Do we want to go for that? Do we want to go for the Scythe? 
I don't know if I want to get that until I know where the rest of them are. Uh, this They might all three right, be right here, or they might be hidden among all the other things. Let's go for the neural disruption. Hey, what do you know? Confirmed, they're, they're hidden amongst all the different branches. So we could go for like metabolic changes and that leads to immune suppression, potentially very lethal, blah, blah, blah. Uh, seizures, yeah, these are all options for me. Not especially worried about any of it though. We're gonna go ahead and start uh, devolving these guys, which apparently only give me refunds, so it's just free DNA. But I'm okay with lethality growth over time now. That sounds good. Purge Undesirables is 24 DNA, and that would slow down the cure significantly, but I'm not sure that I need it at the moment. We are going to focus on getting... Let's go for Palor and then uh, Hematolysis. Very lethal in poor countries. Profuse bleeding, potentially fatal and highly infective in the poor countries. Mm -hmm. Immune suppression. There's the scythe. I found him. Found all the scythes. I guess we could go for that. That could be kind of fun. Scientists encrypt the genome of death for all. Ah, science truly has become a marvel that we can just simply reverse engineer death. Human, uh, sorry, Humanity Preservation Society opens in Canada. We are the front line, we are the defenders. Death will not prevail. Pfft, that's, that just sounds like a challenge. This is the motto of the HPS, a new unofficial medical organization dedicated to ending the threat of the death for all virus. Their base in Canada will accelerate cure research and discovery. Random kill mutates again. Hooray! <laughs> Death's like, <laughs> all right, fine. If that's how you want to play it, I'm just going to start killing everybody. So wait, this kills everyone. Does it kill everyone on the planet or does it kill only the people I've infected? Let's pick it up and find out. The Reaper integrates people into a cult. Some uh, countries infected with the virus for, I'm uh, sorry, of death for all report new religious tendencies connected to the supposed advent of the Grim Reaper and the impending death of all living creatures on Earth. No, 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 I thought I was just killing all humans. I'm killing all living creatures? Cultist groups are disrupting public order and stealing weapons. So, uh, it looks like it only kills the people we have infected. Which admittedly is a lot, but the good news is, good news is, we have, uh, extraordinary necrosis, so I think we're gonna be fine. Oh no, it is totally killing people that haven't been fully infected. All of Sweden just died. Never mind, this works fine. Let's just purge the undesirables for good measure all three times. Local eradication, global eradication, reverts humanity's technological progre progress to 50 years back. You know, that sounds bad, but in reality, we're about to send them back to, well, non-existence. Global communication shut down. Breaking news, a computer virus has been injected into the World Wide Web that it is impossible to remove. Some pe suggest probable connection to death for all... F That's what white noise sounds like now. I've decided this. 6% cure progress is, uh, shall we say, inconsequential. Oh, thank you for the free DNA by the end. Death for all, to eradicate humans, we have successfully eliminated all life on Earth. 363 days, we did it in less than a year! Barely, but ho hooray, that's usually pretty good, actually. 4% cure progress, 79,909 points, 3 stars. That's a pretty fun scenario. I do like it. It sticks to a pretty good theme. It's got a good, hefty amount of customization to it. The balance actually feels about right. The random kill I was worried about at first was going to make things a little bit unnecessarily hard, but I think it just honestly kind of functions to give you free DNA at the beginning of the game, and if you are smart about when you devolve it, there's not much consequence. And then, of course, mutation chance can work in your favor and gain you 666 points back. Yeah, honestly, this seems like a pretty well-thought-out scenario, and I don't really have much to critique about it. I liked it a lot. I hope that everyone else did as well. Go ahead and play it out. Give it a thumbs up. He already got four stars, so... I mean, he's doing well. He or she, I don't know who it was. He or she. Point is, well done. Thank you for sending my way. I really appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then I ask that you hit that like button. Leave a comment and subscribe. Hit that notify bell. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs>